To launch ImageJA, click the ImageJ Data Collection Tool button. Depending on the speed of your connection, you may have to wait a few moments for the applet to load. Allow the applet to access your computer. The instructions for using ImageJ are provided on the right side of the ImageJ window. Before gathering data, we recommend that you review the tips in the instructions. We will cover these in more depth at the end of this demo. It is important to follow the instructions as provided in the ImageJ window. To start, choose File, Open Data, and then RAT1 to retrieve the first stack of images of a rat's brain. Depending on your connection, the images may take a few moments to load. The slice number is provided in the information in the header above the image. It's a good habit to click in the gray area above the image to make sure that the image is active. To begin counting cells, just click on them. After you've clicked on all labeled cells in a slice, you'll need to move to the next slice by clicking the right arrow. Remember to click above the image to make sure that it is active. Then click on the little right arrow button on the right side of the slider bar. You'll see that you've moved to the next slice in the image header information. Continue counting BRDU labeled cells and moving through the slices of the stack. When you're done counting the cells on the last slice of the stack, click Collect Measurements. If you wish to see whether your data has been properly recorded, click the View Data button. Then click the button again to close the table. To move to the next stack of images, choose File Close to close the RAT1 stack. Note that you have to choose File Close twice to get the stack to close. The first time you choose File Close, the hidden results window is closed. The second time, the image stack closes. Choose File, Open Data, RAT2 to open the image stack for RAT2. Then start clicking on BRDU labeled cells as you did in the first stack. As before, when you finish counting the cells for a stack, click the Collect Measurements button. If you wish to see your data, click the View Data button. Then choose File Close twice to close the stack and start all over again for the third stack. Choose File, Open Data, RAT3 to open the image stack for RAT3. Then click on the BRDU labeled cells as you did before. Click Collect Measurements at the end of Stack 3 and then move on to Stack 4.
At the end of stack 4, click Collect Measurements one last time. Close the RAT4 stack as you did before. Then close ImageJ by clicking the X in the upper right hand corner of the ImageJ window. Proceed to the Statistical Analysis section of the lab. To magnify or demagnify an image, make sure that the image is active and then press the minus and plus keys on your keyboard. To enhance the contrast of an image to make it easier to count cells, choose Process, Enhance Contrast, and then complete the dialog box as shown in the instructions. If you click in the white space outside of an image or click too many times in the image, it's best to just start over, close the stack, and reopen it. When you first choose File Close, a dialog window will ask if you wish to save your measurements. Click No. If you count BRDU labeled cells for a slice and later decide that that slice has no labeled cells, you can zero the slice out by selecting the proper stack in one drop-down menu and then the proper slice. Then click Zero the Current Slice. You can check your data by clicking the View Data button. While counting BRDU labeled cells, you will encounter slices that have no labeled cells. Simply move to the next slice in the stack without clicking on anything in the image. You may check the data that you've gathered at any time by selecting the proper stack from the drop-down menu and then clicking the View Data button. After viewing the data table, just click View Data again.